Let's be clear. Amazon has already been penalized more than $75 million for breaking federal discrimination and labor laws. So it is well known that Amazon receives millions in subsidies and billions in contracts from the taxpayer every year. What is less well known is that all of these deals are subject to them obeying the law. And that includes labor law. And we're always coming to you with another story of how Amazon is flagrantly violating labor law in that respect. So uh, last week we told y'all that the Amazon Labor Union, which won the first ever union election at Amazon in the United States a few weeks ago at a Staten Island Fulfillment Center, and is now in the middle of another election at a Staten Island Sortation Center, the Amazon Labor Union is calling on lawmakers in New York and at the federal level to actually enforce the law. Law and order unionism. I could... Uh, I could get used to that in a certain sense, anyway. Um, <laughs> in Seth Goldstein's letter to New York Atten Attorney General Letitia James, Seth Goldstein is Amazon Labor Union's pro bono attorney, Goldstein quotes the relevant passages in multiple programs that Amazon has taken advantage of in New York, saying that there are currently over 40 unfair labor practices charges pending before the NLRB, alleging that Amazon committed unfair labor practices at the Staten Island facility over the last two years. The most recent ULP was filed on April 8th. 2022 alleging unlawful coercion of employees exercising their workplace rights. He says further, Amazon appears to have engaged in a campaign to deny workers the rights afforded to them by the National Labor Relations Act and has been found to have retaliated against them at uh, retaliate against act. Ah. They have been found to have retaliated against at least one union organizer for exercising those rights and thus we request you investigate Amazon's eligibility for tax credits. Now, while New York Attorney General James has not moved on this yet, others have. Let's throw up that graphic from Bernie. Bernie is saying, <clears throat> the time for talk is over. The time for action is now. Taxpayer dollars should not go to companies like Amazon and multi-billionaires like Jeff Bezos who repeatedly break the law. That is some incredibly benign things that is pretty wild that we're having to say <laughs> and that is not just taken as a given. It's amazing. In a letter to President Joe Biden last week, Sanders said, Last September, I was delighted to hear you state that you intend to be the most pro-union president leading the most pro-union administration in American history. One of the most effective ways for you to begin accomplishing this important goal would be to ensure that no corporation that is engaged in illegal anti-union activities receives a contract paid for by the taxpayers of the United States. That seems eminently reasonable. He continues, As you will recall, during the presidential campaign, you promised to, quote, institute a multi-year federal debarment for all employers who illegally oppose unions, end quote, and to, quote, ensure federal contracts only go to employers who sign neutrality agreements committing not to run anti-union campaigns. That campaign promise was exactly right. Today, I am asking you to fulfill that promise. The time has come to tell Amazon that if it wants another federal contract, it must obey the law. Eminently reasonable, I think. Seems like it. He, reiterated, uh, he reiterated this in remarks from the Senate floor a couple days later. Adam, let's play that clip. A letter to President Biden urging him to sign an executive order to prohibit companies like Amazon that have violated labor laws from receiving federal contracts paid for by the taxpayers of America. Let's be clear. Amazon has already been penalized more than $75 million 
for breaking federal discrimination and labor laws. To date, there are currently 59, 59 unfair labor cases against Amazon pending at the National Labor Relations Board. It is my view that the time for talk is over. The time for action is now. Taxpayer dollars should not go to companies like Amazon and multi-billionaires like Jeff Bezos who repeatedly break the law. No government, not the federal government, not the state government, and not the city government should be handing out corporate welfare to union busters and labor law violators. And there you have it. There you have it. Uh, Republicans claim to be for law and order, and they also claim to hate Amazon because it's woke or something. Whatever uh, that means. Now, I don't know. But uh, So let's see if they do literally anything at all to push this along that would be great i don't care if it's spite driven i don't care i i i don't care i don't care at all they should just do something do literally anything to support these workers and to enforce the law let's uh let's see if their law and order rhetoric is uh is only limited to poor people that's kind of that's what my gut tells me but we'll see We'll see. We'll be the first to tell you if any Republicans get on board with Bernie Sanders about this. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. Which side are you on?